Uncle Ben's new Spanish style rice. Let's taste this. I have an Uncle Mike, he makes great eggplant parmesan. I have an Uncle Mitch, he makes great grilled vegetables. My favorite uncle though, Uncle Ben. He's everybody's favorite uncle. He makes the best rice. Nobody knows rice like this guy. And it's right there on the package. It says, perfect every time. Anyone else said that, I'd say, you're pretentious. You're full of yourself. You're vain. Hubris. This guy earned it. Uncle Ben earned it. He earned the right to say perfect every time. It is perfect every time. But this is new. New ball game. Microwavable Spanish rice here. Perfect every time. Let's see. You just pop this thing in the microwave. Uh, you got some, got some Spanish style rice. What is Spanish style rice? Long grained rice, tomatoes, poblano peppers. Oh man, poblano peppers are so good when they're stuffed with like cheese and raisins and shredded carrots and stuff. Uh, tomato powder, I, sure, tomato powder. I'm trusting Uncle Ben, I trust this guy. Paprika, they even have a customer service line here. Uh, if you have questions or comments, 1-800-54-UNCLE. I wonder if he'll pick up. Uh, we gotta pop this thing in the microwave. We're gonna heat it up. We're gonna have some Spanish style rice. Let's taste this. We're back. I just put this Uncle Ben's Spanish style rice in the microwave for exactly 45 seconds. That's what Uncle Ben says. I'm not gonna doubt him. I'm not gonna put it in for 40 or 50, 45. They say on the lid, caution, very hot. Uh, there's a lot of steam. Um, I got it in this protective bowl here. It smells pretty good. I have to admit though, this doesn't quite look exactly the same as this. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna taste it. I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. I can smell the poblano peppers. I don't know how they did it because I'm not a chef, but somehow they distilled generations of culinary history into this little cup. The flavors in here, very aromatic. I can actually taste the poblano peppers. I don't know if that poblano pepper flavoring came from like a tube or a spray bottle somewhere in some lab. I don't care. I don't think it did because it says poblano peppers are in there. I'm sure they're ch uh, chopped up or pureed or something, but definitely has that kind of smoky flavor. Um, like it almost reminds me of like mole sauce or something. Um, there's tomato puree in here. Um, it's also very, very light. Like the rice is very light and fluffy. And uh, actually here's a piece of poblano pepper right now. We were just talking about you. Delicious dark green poblano pepper. Yeah, really good. Could use a little bit of hot sauce for my taste. This would be a great side dish to, you know, like a skirt steak or something like that, or um, like a quesadilla or something. Uncle Ben, you're the best. You're the best. Nobody knows rice like Uncle Ben. And it's true. Now, I understand that this might run you between a dollar and two dollars, and you can buy a bag of rice for three dollars that'll feed you for an entire year. That aside, if you're super uh, pressed for time and you just want simple, easy, single serving, of Spanish style rice, you can't go wrong with this. Thumbs up. Hi, you're watching Let's Taste This. And if you wanna check out more Let's Taste This episodes, click here.